Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another instalment of The Now Review. Now that's what I call gold. So when this one was announced, I was a bit surprised. I don't think we've had a Now Gold before. We've definitely had like Now Number Ones or Now That's What I Call A Million, basically implying they've put songs on here which are, you know, big, big hits, like really certified hits. So when they announced the title, and That's What I Call Gold, I thought it'd be that same vein. The tagline, which you'll be able to see at the bottom there, says feel good anthems from legendary artists. So maybe they're not necessarily going for the amount of sales, they're just going for like big anthems from artists that you definitely know. But just look at the cover first. Obviously the main motif is gold. Why wouldn't it be? That's what it's called. So obviously the title now, that's what I call gold, is emblazoned in it. That's what I call is in black. That does stand out a little bit more. I don't know why they didn't use another brighter shade that could have blended in with the gold, but hey, it's what we've got, and that's absolutely fine. And then you've got some, like, melted gold, presumably, around here, which is a is a nice little effect. Um, I would have maybe liked a bit more in the background, personally. You just sort of get different uh, shades of yellow and orange, which is fine. But I don't know, I feel for something like this, I would have appreciated something a bit more in the background. But hey, it's definitely gold. You won't be able to miss it in the shop. So those legendary artists that they talked about, who are they, you ask? Well, some of them we've got here. You've got like Queen, ABBA, Fleetwood Mac, Tina Turner, Elton John, The Weeknd, Diana Ross, Coldplay, Lionel Richie, Whitney Houston, The Electric Light Orchestra, Elvis Presley, John Lennon, Frank Sinatra, Stevie Wonder, and Simon and Garfunkel, Take That, uh, Wings, U2, The Police, Vangelis, Spandau Ballet, Chic, and Aretha Franklin. So a lot of uh, big names I'm sure a lot of you guys will recognize. A lot of modern stuff too, like The Weeknd was on there, but also a lot of classics. Surprising to see artists like Frank Sinatra, you know, really going back there. So let's turn it around to the all-important track list and just see what is on this album. Okay, so there's CDs 1 and 2. So right off the bat, We Are The Champions by Queen. Yeah, great feel-good anthem. Obviously, would have been heard a lot during the football season that we've just had with the Euros. you got Don't Stop by Fleetwood Mac, definitely a feel-good. The Best by Tina Turner. I Have The Tiger by Survivor. I'm Still Standing by Elton John. A Gold, ironically, by Spandau Ballet, I Have a Dream by ABBA, Viva La Vida by Coldplay, Firework by Katy Perry. So certainly those first few tracks on disc one are very much living up to that uh, tagline on the front saying these are definitely feel-good anthems. I'm sure actually a lot of these did sell very well. I mean, they're all well known, but yeah, definitely feel-good anthems there. CD2, you've got John Lennon with Imagine. I'd, I'd, I was always debating whether that was like a feel-good album. I think people take different things from Imagine. A Bridge Over Troubled Water is very much in that same vein, I think. What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. A Stand By Me by Benny King. Lovely Day by Bill Withers or Fly Me To The Moon. Great Frank Sinatra choice there. Obviously, uh, Frank is a crooner. He's known for a lot of, uh, I guess, his more sad songs as well. But Fly Me To The Moon is a wonderful, jaunty little song to put on there. Anyone Who Had A Heart as well. Who's singing that version? Diane Warwick, of course. It's not the Silla Black version. Whitney Houston, The Greatest Love Of All. Nice to see that. Okay, so what do we got going down? So back to CD1, you've got things like Raise Your Glass by Pink, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd, had to be there, one of the biggest songs of the last year. You've got uh, Titanium from David Guetta and uh, Sia, lots more just scrolling down, oh Bastille, of course, Pompeii, why of course that's on here. Lots and lots of tunes you can see there. CD2, when you move across, uh, you've got things by Wings there. You've got Always On My Mind, the Elvis Presley version. I much prefer the Pet Shop Boys version, not biased at all. <laughs> Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys. Nice to see that there as well. It's a classic song from the 60s. You've got some Bob Dylan. Nice touch there. Aretha Franklin with Respect, obviously one of the most well-known songs of the age. And the final few tracks on there. So on CD1, you had George Ezra... Um, you have who, Shawn Mendes, i just read that name there, you got Fun With We Are Young, that was a big song in 2012, and the last song on CD1 is Chariots of Fire by Vangelis, very inspirational, definitely in that sporting sense as well, and when you look at uh, CD2, you've got Stevie Wonder with For Once In My Life, you've got Diana Ross with Ain't No Mountain High Enough, you've got uh, Marvin Gaye's on here, Lionel Richie with Say You, Say Me, I'm surprised I didn't go for All Night Long, I'd argue that's more feel good than... Um, than Say You Say Me, but hey-ho. And the last song is Donna Summer uh, with State of Independence. Classic song of that disco age. So that's CDs 1 and 2, 20 tracks apiece. That's 40 total so far. Okay, CD3, Mr. Blue Sky, one of the most upbeat songs ever, arguably. 
Uh, the police are on here. You got Madness, Oasis with Wonderwall, uh, U2, Bon Jovi with It's My Life, Scorpion with Winds of Change. You hear that a lot, don't you? Looking at CD2 briefly, you got Westlife, You Raise Me Up, absolutely take that with Greatest Day. Dolly Parton, 9 to 5, Pharrell Williams with Happy, that song does just not go away. Cool and the Gang with Celebration. You got Chic with Good Times, always love that song. Irene Cara with Fame, Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive, this is on CD2. Uh, Chaka Khan, I'm Every Woman. Back to CD1, you've got Hall & Oates with You Make My Dreams Come True, another wonderfully upbeat song. Tears for Fears with Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Billy Joel. Right back on CD2, you've got some Cher, you've got some Kylie Minogue. Uh, Black Eyed Peas, I Got a Feeling. Of course, that feels like it has to be on there. Uh, Ariana Grande with One Last Time. Just back to CD1 for a second. You got Celine Dion with her version of The Power of Love. Surprise, it's not the uh, Jennifer Rush version. Christina Aguilera, One Direction. Wondered if one of those would be on here. Little Mix with Wings, one of their first songs. A lot of great songs, but the last one on each disc. Uh, so you have From This Moment On which is on uh, disc 3 by Shania Twain. And CD4 is M People with Search for the Hero. Once again, 20 tracks apiece, making for 80 tracks total. So that was the track list. So there was 80 tracks on there, which seems to be mainly the standard for the four disc albums these days. And yeah, you got quite the selection. I do really like that they've gone not just for the modern stuff, but a lot of the really older stuff as well. Because sometimes when they do this, you know, they're going for big hits or feel goods. They only really stick to stuff in like the last five or ten years. But to see them embrace, I guess, the rights that they have to use, you know, going back as far as the like the 1950s, that's really nice. So let's open this up, see what we got today. Of course, follow them on all their socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, yeah, I was about to say Snapchat, I meant YouTube. And also available, and now that's what I call summer, and now back of the net footy, which I heard actually got quite a nice like spike in uh, streams or purchases. Obviously, the further England went in the Euro tournament. Uh, shout out to the England team as well. They did r as absolute well as they could have. I'm sure everyone's dead proud of them. But yeah, those albums we did cover on the Now Review. You can go and check those out if you so wish. And when we open this up further, the discs are housed in these like almost record style sleeves as they have been for the past few releases. As I always say, I am glad they... It was weird at first, but I'm glad they've ditched housing them in the old plastic CD cases. Just not environmentally friendly. Not that good. So nice to see them here. All of them are a red shade with yellow text, which does look quite nice. Very simple disc design but very elegant. I'm almost happy they went simple for the discs and they could have gone a bit more elaborate on the cover, but that's just me anyway. So, as we always ask, now gold, is it worth your time and money? Well, in terms of releases strictly from 2021, it's definitely very comprehensive. As mentioned, you're getting hits from across uh, several different decades, as far back as the 50s, right up until the 2020s. So, in that sense, it's very comprehensive. There's four discs instead of the three they used to do, so there's even more tracks potential. I know if, if you maybe already own things like Now That's What I Call A Million, any of those two, or maybe Now That's What I Call The Number One, you might be a bit more hesitant to get this because I, I know some of those songs definitely repeat. But I think they've also tried to go for some new stuff maybe that they haven't done before. They do want people to buy these albums, even if they've bought previous ones, of course. Obviously, if you're a collector, you're going to grab it. But you know what? In terms of strictly 2021 releases, and if you don't have Now Million or something like that, I think this is certainly worth a purchase. It's only £9.99, so round it up, just £10. You can get it uh, in places like HMV. I'm sure you can get it in the supermarkets. You can get it online. It will be widely available. So, yeah, if you're interested, definitely go and pick it up for yourself. But that's all for this installment of the Now Review. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments. Are you going to be getting Now Gold or is it one that you're going to pass on and let me know why as well? And subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. It'd be great to have you on board. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV. And I will see you next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show. And a special thank you to Macra, Hooks Media, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry Holt, Bruce Danton, The Broken Kit Suminoid, Tobos Krotz, Polsky Liz, Globe of Reviews, Trev Hughes, and Kevin Aikman, our AMTV staff members.